Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to The Loft. In last week's video I discussed these glue bottles and found out that the free washing up liquid bottle was actually just as good a value than the bespoke £13.50 model. Now I've received quite a lot of comments on the back of that video so thank you for them comments and also pointed out that they do a little version of this so that, that was useful information. Also a lot of you actually do use the washing up liquid bottle. For this week's video I thought I would discuss glue brushes. Usually when I need a glue brush I use an old paintbrush. For example I've used this one already and as usual I've set it down, forgotten about it, the bristles have gone hard and now it's ruined. Shop that as well. So I'm fed up of wasting paint brushes. So I thought I would buy one of these silicone brushes that I see so many people using on YouTube. So I went on Amazon and bought this Rockler set. Now I actually only wanted the brush, which was nine pound, but for a couple of pounds more, in this kit I got the spreader and the little glue holder. So I thought I'd buy this one instead. So when it came through the post and I saw the brush. I thought, I've seen this somewhere before. And then I realized we own a silicon pasting brush, which is almost identical. So that got me thinking. So I picked up my iPad and went on to Google and Googled cheap pastry brushes. And it took me straight to Ikea's website where they have a silicon pastry brush that sells for one pound. And here it is. And whilst I was there, I picked up a larger silicon brush, which is aimed at barbecues for one pound fifty. So I bought these two and I thought I'd pick them between that and that to see if there's actually any difference or for the price of this, you can have nine of them. So let's open the packet. Okay, so that's silicon and it's nice and bendy and you can pop your dry glue out of it. Wasn't actually looking for one of them, but seeing I've got it, then that's good. I usually just use an old jam jar or something like that. The nails coming, that would be my usual route. So I've got this spreader, okay, that's fine. Actually, one of my videos I made, when I made my outdoor workbench top, I actually used a piece of hardboard with some saw curves in as a spreader and then that's the brush okay so it's got a nice little handle it's got this sort of screwdriver -y end to it which is fine i guess for spreading small bits but end of the day it's just a piece of plastic and then it's got this silicon end so it's got sort of four rows of 10 bristles so that's the nine pound version and this is the ikea one pound version Uh, that's the £1.50 version, so of course the bristles are longer, a few more of them, actually the same quality. What I will do, seeing as I have two, they're longer, I'm wondering whether to cut them bristles down, so they just actually notice they're on the slant, shall I? Might be wasting a whole £1.50 here guys. Oh look at that, there's my chisel shot. Okay. Right, let's have a little play shall we? So there's a couple of bits of glue that's... I've off put this one and used it as a guide. Try it with the longer bristles. Yeah, it's probably not quite as. Yeah, probably just needs to be a little bit shorter, but still working. But there's no real difference in the. Certainly in the shot, that short one, you can see the sort of furrow marks that one as well. Okay, so I'm going to put these to one side and then tomorrow we'll come and see whether we can peel the glue off like the advert says. Put them to one side. There. 
could put them up there till tomorrow. Seeing we've got it, we might as well just have a little glue with that. We're not actually bothered about gluing anything, it's just more to get some glue on the spreader. Okay, so we've had 24 hours for the glue to dry on the brushes and in the tray, so let's have a look at how clean we can get them. I don't think the glue's actually properly dried it. Oh, it has got, there we go, a little fried egg of glue. Okay, that's cool. There we go, look at that. There we go. Cool. Finally, there we go. Look at that. They pull off nice and easy. So there we go, one pound glue brush from IKEA. Now if you've got some really large areas to glue up, IKEA sell another brush for one pound, which might just do the job. And here it is. No, just kidding guys. See you soon. <coughs> Frog in my throat today.